Okay, you guys. So today is a very exciting day for me. Um, I got in late last night from Miami and I woke up early this morning and I drove myself to Oliver, my hometown. This is where I grew up and I'm actually at the high school where I went to school. And today I'm working at the women in trades. Uh, they're having a women in trades day for all these young students, these young women who are wanting to get into a trade. So today I get to spend the day with these young girls in the shop that I learned to be a welder in at the exact same age that they are. Um, this is just an incredible experience for me. I just feel so grateful that the, these teachers have asked me to be part of this. Um, I'm just really looking forward to spending the day with these girls. I've always wanted to find a way um, to help women, to help young girls, you know, find their way into working in a trade. So today is going to be amazing for me. Um, I'm going to post lots of pictures, lots of videos, and, you know, just enjoy this beautiful, sunshiny day in Oliver. So here it is, the welding booth that I welded for the very first time 25 years ago. Probably the same, the same welding table and everything, but this has just been so cool already and still so much to go. Can't wait to get these girls in here. I'm noticing here with this whole school is how horrible all these tools are. All these broken helmets. There's some of them that aren't too bad, but there's maybe one or two welding helmets that aren't fixed with bolts or duct tape. Um, I'm looking at these gloves and these gloves are just your standard massive, massive gloves. Um, and you look at these, these girls, these little young girls that are in these massive coveralls so it's just really got me thinking you know if, if you want to get women into trades you you have to get them to be comfortable you've got to have them doing things properly with proper tools so they can actually experience what it actually is you know and and so it's just really kind of made me think that i want to do something and especially for this school because it's you know means so much to me uh in order for these girls to want to be able to try this, to get coveralls that fit them, to get gloves that fit them. I mean, even some of the young boys would probably be swimming in these coveralls too. So I'm going to find out a way. I need to find out a way to make it so that these students in this school can be comfortable. So it is now my mission. I want to get these kids welding helmets. I want to get these kids a whack of gloves that fit them properly, proper size coveralls. So I think that we'll find out, figure out a way to do something for this. Um, yeah, we want these people to enjoy what it is that they're trying to learn to do. So, let's figure that one out. Is that the year that you guys all can see that we're going to have a full of 